Hey everyone and welcome to The Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. And I'm Susie von Slaughter. And today we're reviewing the movie Some Guy Who Kills People. You like to make people laugh, boy? Get your life back on track. You're 30, 40, working in an ice cream parlor. Boy, you're on street duty. It's up, Minty. Oh, right. I knew there was something. Your daughter is here. Damon? I will trade you my number for another scoop. Sure. Um, throw in $2.90 and you got yourself a deal. Hey, Toots. Why don't you stop by the surplus store sometime? Clearly you're into damaged goods. Where'd you go last night? I had uh, things to do. I had to meet a friend. Directed by Jack Perez and starring Barry Bostwick. Now, Susie, what's this one about? It's about this guy who he's kind of tortured in his beginning years by, you know, a bunch of jocks and stuff like that. So then he ends up being mentally damaged and he has to go, he goes into a mental institution, you know, comes out and he thinks he's okay, but then, you know, he's in, in his 30s working at an ice cream parlor. So he kind of gets ridiculed again for that and then all of a sudden he's right. in very much a, a shell at yeah, this point right and he all of a sudden oh you have an 11 year old daughter yeah he finds so out dope. that yeah he has a, an 11 year old daughter that seeked him out and found mm -hmm. him at this ice cream shop and as the daughter sort of comes into the picture at the same time all of his old bullies from school are suddenly... yeah they just kind of like come out and like it's the cycle kind of starts all over again his life is going good and then all of a sudden it just starts to recapture again. Yeah, he, he uh, because he's gotten out of the asylum just recently, mm -hmm. and now that he's sort of returned to town and he's working at the ice cream shop, the bullies are sort of starting to see him and they make fun of him again. Exactly, because he's in his 30s working at an working ice cream Working at an ice cream parlor, shop, exactly. Dressed in an ice cream cone. And we don't, we don't <laughs> really know exactly why he went into the mental institution. He was tortured as a kid. We do find out later on, but I'm not gonna tell you exactly what it is because it's spoilery. It actually is smart writing and it ties in to the rest of the plot. So what ends up happening is, and why it's a horror movie, is that while this stuff is happening, we're, we're seeing his life. He lives at home with his mom, played by Karen Black, uh, very effectively. Love that movie. She's hilarious in the movie, <laughs> but basically, while he finds out about his daughter at the same time, his bullies, who are now all grown up, are slowly starting to get picked off one at a time. Someone in a mask is just basically running up on him and just hacking him to pieces in various ways. And then we just cut back to Barry Boswick's story and with his daughter and stuff. And so it's interesting. Like I mentioned earlier, he's very much in his shell after coming out. Right. But once he starts interacting with his daughter, things start to change for him a little bit. Right, yeah. He just, you know, everything in his life seems perfect. Like his whole world is about her and making everything good. Mm -hmm. like, you know, he's a good life now, even though his mother is still. He, he finds a little bit more worth to, right. to his life and stuff like that. And I also wanted to touch on another piece of acting in the movie uh, because as the bullies start to get killed off, we see the cops that are investigating him. <laughs> There's uh, the lead sheriff and his deputy. I think there's, that was my favorite bit. Like with each one, they would come up to a crime scene and the little puns that were in it with each one, it was just great. One of them was he came up to the body, body in a dumpster mm -hmm. and it had been decapitated. And they're coming up and they have puns popcorn, they eat it in popcorn, the one driver's just like, who would decapitate, who would take the head? Where's the head? And you know, the deputy's just like, I don't know. He's like, we need to find the head. And he's still eating the popcorn. And someone from off screen's like, we found the head. He's yeah, like, well, bring, bring the head over, over here. here. Found the head, sir. Bring it on over. It is, it's, it's so, I love the little, you know, comedy bits out of it. It wasn't yeah. like too overly done. They're it was, very, it was perfectly they have great personalities and then to twist into the plot the sheriff is actually dating Barry Bostwick's mom in the yeah. movie so there's, dating is a light way there's some uncomfortable <laughs> yeah 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 that's true there's some uncomfortable dinner scenes where they're all interacting and mm -hmm. when finally the sheriff starts to suspect the son things get a little more intense again we're not going to spoil it for you but it all comes to bear all the different threads come together the daughter ends up finding out more than she should mm -hmm. and but did she find out what she thinks she found out and you yeah, know, all, all the, everything leads you to believe, obviously, that that this that Barry Boswick is the one killing his enemies. Like that's the way they're showing it to you, and you know, it's just a matter of who finds out when and how right. and how it all plays out at the end. But I did want to touch on a couple of other things about the movie. The cinematography worked very well for the movie. Yeah, I thought it was great. I mean, it wasn't like 
low budget, you know. No, it, it wasn't was low budget looking. It, it wasn't extremely high end, a lot of tracking shots and things like that. Yeah. But it worked well for the movie. It seemed kind of more realistic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then the production design was good. The ice cream parlor was fun. Yeah. His home was appropriately depressing. Right. There wasn't any CG effects, really. No, um, which it was, I'm okay with. Yeah, yeah. Like CG. The CG doesn't always work, <laughs> but the practical effects, there was quite a few of. There was right. decapitated heads. There was many blood splatters and brain matter and all mm -hmm. kinds of crazy stuff flying everywhere. But I don't think it was used to a gross degree. No, not at all. Like I said, it was done, it was executed very well. It, nothing was overly done drastically. Yeah, you know, it, it was wasn't like super done. bloody. It wasn't like Quentin Tarantino blood spurts and stuff yeah. like that. No, it's, yeah. it's pretty quick and a blood splash from a bucket, you know, I'm sure mm -hmm. off camera and stuff. But it all worked for what we were seeing. Right. A lot of the movies this season are going to be slightly different types of horror movies. And this ends up being one of them because it actually tends to be more of a father-daughter story than a slasher horror movie. But they kind of, they, they meld them together, and I just don't think enough people know about this movie. So that's why I, I wanted to talk about it. I actually think that instead of being more, I think it's more on the slasher side than full on horror, in my personal right. opinion. Yeah, but it's still really, really good. Right, so definitely check it out, you guys. Some Guy Who Kills People. Great um, title. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Gets I mean, right to the point. You hear it and you're like, hmm, what kind of movie would that be? But give it a try, mm -hmm. it's definitely worth your time. Thanks very much for watching, you guys. Remember to follow us on Twitter, at horrorshow 666 Check out our podcast and email us, and the links are just below. Thanks again for watching, you guys. We really appreciate it. And remember, stay, stay scared. scared.